Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Julio's Book Reviews. Today's book is called Power vs. Force by David Hawkins. David R. Hawkins, a medical professor and he has a PhD. Here's a book. This book pretty much talks about raising your consciousness, raising your awareness. The book states that just by reading this book, your awareness and consciousness will rise by 35 points. So the, the book goes through a point system, an uh, energy uh, system that the author classifies. Let me see if I can find the little chart. He has a chart here where it goes through like fear being 200 points um, as far as to a thousand. So a thousand being like is the most enlightened person you could think of. Um, Muhammad Gandhi, they're up there. So yeah, I can't find the page. Um, anyways, so it goes to, he goes, fear is about 200. So he starts classifying these points and he's saying, um, you know, watching TV uh, lowers your energy levels by this many points. Um, drugs are also lower level uh, energies that can decrease your points. So I, I kind of see that as like being like low energies. I just don't, you know, I'm not going to classify them by points and stuff, but nevertheless, it's good to be aware of that type of, uh, those types, types of things. So the Title, power versus force. Uh, power is a good thing. Power is when you have power, but you use it for the benefit of society to help other people. Um, you can have, you can picture yourself as examples. People who use power to benefit the good of society. Maybe Bill Gates, who's fighting diseases or helping out through his uh, Microsoft program. Um, and then force is something that's bad, something that um, people have it, but it's like something to benefit them. So an example would be politicians who do things just uh, so they can earn more money, so they can have and satisfy their partners so they can keep the business going. Uh, it may not be what's the right decision or it may not be what the people want, but it's it benefits himself and his party. Um, so those are uh, two examples. The one you want to have is power. The other thing that the book talks about is the difference between being a genius and having a high IQ. Uh, he states that having a high IQ means that you can store a lot of academic knowledge in your brain, that you know a lot about textbooks, about history. Um, and the difference is that being a genius uh, is having insight, thinking outside the box, um, maybe uh, having applying information to different contexts and having breakthroughs in different areas. So those, that's what the author says in the book. Um, another thing that the author talks about is that our brains that we are not our brains some people say oh i i am my body i am my brain uh the author says that you have a brain you have a body you are not those things uh, you're not your body um, just like your heart pumps blood to your body your brain automatically pumps thoughts um, to yourself and you can see the thoughts that you think um, throughout the day you can be aware of those thoughts as they arise but you're not your brain you're not your body so it makes a point of raising uh, your awareness. Overall, it's a pretty good book. Um, it kind of it could be a little bit too out there for you guys. It talks a lot about energy, higher consciousness, um, especially when it classifies the points. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find it one more time. Uh, point system. There it is, right here. So pretty much neutral neutrality. Two fifty. Uh, courage is at two hundred. Acceptance at 350 goes all the way to a thousand. Peace is at 600. Enlightenment is at from 7, 000, 700 to a thousand. So the great ones of history who originated spiritual patterns. Um, so it's just that's what it talks about. If you're that's if that's something that interests you, then I suggest you check out the book Powers is Force. Um, he also has more books, um, so definitely check out the rest of his books. I I, I own some of his other books. But this is the one that I was most interested in reading. The other ones, uh, I'm not sure that I'm going to read anytime soon. But if I do, maybe in a couple of years, and you'll definitely see it here on this channel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right? Peace.